act of faith, faith in God, and God will do for you what no other power is able to do. Let every head be bowed. Please remain with your heads bowed. Men and women, young people and children, I'm asking you tonight to give your heart to God. I'm asking you to become a serious and definite Christian, to say, I want to change my way of living and, and to say, let Christ come into my heart tonight. I'm asking you to surrender your life unto God. And now, with your heads bowed, will you take the first step and do as I ask you, please. I want every man, every woman, every boy and every girl who believes in my prayers, and you want me to pray that Christ will save your soul, that you will be saved by his shed blood tonight and become his child. And you want me to pray for Christ to save you tonight, take the first step, please, in his name right now, and raise up your right hand quickly. Up high, please. Simply hundreds and hundreds of hands. Hold them there. If you're sincere, if you mean that, take the second step and please stand on your feet for my prayer. Stand, please, if you've raised your hand. And they are standing all over the audience. Thank you. Remain standing, please. We have a place in front of me here at the platform where you may walk forward and stand, and I shall offer prayer with your soul to be saved. Do not sit back down, but come down the aisle now here for prayer. While they're coming down every aisle, I'm asking you there, as you watch this program on your television screen, to give your heart to Jesus Christ. Become a serious Christian. Hundreds of thousands of people have given their hearts to Christ while watching this program. We have names from all over the world sent to us by people who said, Brother Roberts, I gave my heart to God during one of your prayers. They're coming forward to be saved. Will you be saved? As I pray with them and they repeat after me a sinner's prayer, you please repeat it word for word there wherever you are, and let's believe God and he will save you. You will become a real child of God. So would you kindly raise your right hand? Now repeat this prayer. Don't be embarrassed or ashamed. God knows our hearts. If you want to live this good life, raise your hand. Together, let us pray. O oh Lord, be merciful to me, a sinner. I cannot save myself. I repent of my sins and return to God. Forgive me, O oh Lord. Come into my heart and make me thy child. Now I receive Christ as my personal Savior, by His grace, to live a Christian life forever. Amen. Thank you. If you meant it, will you say amen? amen? If this video has touched your life, make sure to subscribe, like, comment, and click the bell to stay updated on what God is doing at Shake the Nation's Ministries. Brother Deweese, I'd like to meet some of these families who have come forward to give their hearts to God. Uh, sir, tell me who you folks are. Mr. and Mrs. Arnott. And where are you from? We're from Austin. And who is this little lady between you? Marilyn Arnott. You are the daughter? Yes, sir. And this is the mother, right? Yes, sir. Tell me this, why did you people come forward tonight? Just felt the need of it. How about you, sir? I think I've felt the need for a long time. And sitting back there, you made up your mind to do it tonight? Yes, sir, I did. How do you feel now, sir, since you've made your public stand for God? I feel much better. I advise you as a family now, sir, to have family prayer, to offer thanks at your table for your food, read something in your Bible every day, join a good church, and live sincerely for Christ. Can you say amen to that? Do you feel better in your heart? I would appreciate a chance to help you in a more personal way. 
If you have a spiritual problem that you would like to write me about, just sit down and write a letter to me, Oral Roberts, Tulsa, Oklahoma, and say, Brother Roberts, this is what I'd like you to pray about. I'll be glad to do that. I'm writing to people all over the world who, who write me every week, and I will pray with you. Just write me, Oral Roberts, Tulsa, Oklahoma. I'll be expecting that letter. I'll be praying with you and for you. Now, I want you folks to go to our prayer room in a moment and pray. A Christian worker will kneel by you and pray with you till you know you're saved. Then I shall return in a few moments and pray for the healing of the sick. I'm happy once again to start another prayer line. This is the ministry that I love. I'd rather pray for people than to do anything else in the whole world. To pray for God to save them and pray for God to heal them. Please open your hearts as you've been doing throughout the whole service tonight. Open your heart there. Be assured of this. We believe that God heals in many ways. We believe he heals through medical science. We believe in good doctors. We believe that we should do for ourselves what is available for us. We also believe in prayer, the power of prayer, that through that God heals the sick today. These people are coming for prayer. They're not coming to ask Oral Roberts to heal them. They're coming to use me as a channel, a point of contact to help them release their faith. They're looking to God to heal their bodies, not to me. I may be a channel, but God is the stream. Now, what do we have here, and who are you, please? Well, I'm Ida Mae Sicknath of uh, California, Fontana, California. Yes. That is my son, and August the 1st of uh, this year, he will have been a prisoner in Russia 14 years in slave labor. And, and why is he in Russia? Well, he was captured by the Germans on the Ploeste oil field raid, August the 1st of 43. What is his name? Lawrence Edward Ritz. He's 36. Right. Member of the Christian Church, has been baptized. Right. He, uh, he has had a brain concussion. Yes, he was sent by the Russians to Odessa in 1955. Last October, the Russians flew a plane down to Odessa picked up my son and took him back to the coal mines in Markuta. In Siberia? Siberia. And you say he has had a brain concussion? Yes, he got that down in the work camps in Odessa. Are you here in his place? Right. And that's why you brought the picture? That's right. And you have come also for healing? Yes. Yes, you want to be healed of a cataract in your eyes? Right. And a tumor that's pressing it upon your windpipe? Right. That chokes you? You remember, uh, you've been baptized into the Christian church. Right. Now then, we'll pray for you first and then for your son. All right. Oh, Father, we ask the Lord to heal his child. <laughs> Through Christ. And now, audience, touch the chair as though you were touching this boy. Oh, God. Span the oceans, cross infinite distances, go behind the Iron Curtain, and heal her son. Cause him to be released from prison and brought home safe and sound in every way. Father, we ask it in the name of Jesus, believing that God hears and answers prayer. Amen and amen. How do you feel now after prayer? Wonderful. Wonderful, and so do I. Yes. And someday pray God for revival in Russia. Amen. Go, God go with you. Do you wish this back? Thank you. And God bless you. Now we come to a wonderful moment. Many of you have written us inquiring about the healing of many people whom you've seen us pray for on television. You continually say, Brother Roberts, do the healings last? Are they real? Well, this we can say, although not every person we pray for is healed, 
we feel that many of them receive definite benefit and sometimes complete healing through faith in God. We have some of those people here. Some of them have traveled many hundreds of miles to get here to testify to you, and as long as we have time, we want you to meet them tonight. Brother Roberts, this is Fred Odell, Oakland, California. Fred, I remember you well. You came all the way to Jacksonville, Florida to be healed of what? Of cancer. I had incurable cancer of the lungs. You were so weak in your body you could scarcely stand. People have written us. They've said, how is Fred Odell? Tell us about him. Bring him back and let us see him and hear him. And let's see. For more Shake the Nations content, check us out on social media at Shake the Nations on Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter.